Hello everyone, I'm Maparna Chakravarti from Dr. Shama Prashad Mukherjee University. Today, I'm going to talk about Dr. Shama Prashad Mukherjee with my classmate Kaushik Kumar. We are really thankful to our department, School of Management Studies and our faculty, Vikar Sharma Sir, for giving us the opportunity to work on this presentation. Hello everyone, I'm Kaushik Kumar from Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee University, School of Management Studies. So today we are going to talk about Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee. As we all know, there are many institutions in India on the name of Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee. So who was he? Dr. Shyam Prasad Mukherjee was born in a Bengali family on 6 July 1901. He was an academician, a barrister and a politician too, who served as the Minister for Industry and Supply in Jawaharlal Nehru's cabinet. His father, Ashutosh Mukherjee, was also a judge of Calcutta High Court. He started his initial education in Bhavanipur's Mitra Institution in 1906. He passed his matriculation exam and was admitted to Presidency College. He stood 17th in the inter arts examination in 1916 and graduated in English, securing the first position in first class in 1921. He also completed an MA in Bengali and being graded as a first class. He also completed his BL in 1924. He lost his father in 1924. The same year, he enrolled as an advocate in Calcutta High Court. Subsequently, he left for England in 1926 to study at Lincoln's Inn and was called to the English bar in the same year. In 1934, at the age of 33, he became the youngest vice-chancellor of Calcutta University and held the office until 1938. During Mukherjee's term as vice-chancellor, Rabindranath Tagore delivered the university convocation address in Bengali for the first time and the Indian vernacular was introduced as a subject for the highest examination. He started his political career in 1929 as an Indian National Congress candidate, but he resigned next year when the INC decided to boycott the legislature. After that, in 1946, Mukherjee demanded the partition of Bengal. In May 1947, Shama Prashad Mukherjee wrote a letter to Lord Mountbatten telling him that Bengal must be partitioned even if India was not. He also opposed a failed bid for a united but independent Bengal made in 1947 by Sarat Bose, the brother of Subhash Chandra Bose and Hussain Sahid Shuhravardi, a Bengali Muslim and politician. Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru inducted him into the interim central government as a minister for industry and supply on 15 August 1947. But due to the difference in opinion, he resigned from INC and founded the Bharatiya Jana Sangh on 21st October 1951 in Delhi and becoming its first president. The first industrial policy after independence was announced by Dr. Shyam Prasad Mukherjee on 6 April 1948 as industry minister. The main goal of this policy was to accelerate the industrial development by introducing a mixed economy where the private and public sector was accepted as the important in the development of economy. According to industrial policy given by Shama Prashad Mukherjee, the large industries were classified into four categories. They are first, industries with exclusive state monopoly or strategic industries, second, industries with government control, third, industries with mixed sector, and fourth, industry in the private sector. Mukherjee was strongly opposed to the Article 370. Seeing it as a threat to national unity, he fought against it inside and outside the parliament with one of the goals of Bharatiya Janasan being its abrogation. He raised his voice strongly against the provision in his Lok Sabha speech. The state was granted its own flag along with a prime minister whose permission was required for anyone to enter the state. In opposition to this, he once said, Ek desh mein do vidhan, do pradhan aur do nishan nahi chalenge. A single country can't have two constitution two Prime Minister and two National Emblems. Shama Prashad Mukherjee died after 40 days of being arrested by the Jammu and Kashmir State Police for entering the state without permit. He passed away in jail under mysterious circumstances. 